Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about derivative of transforms. So in the previous video, we talked about the transform of a, of derivatives or the Laplace transform of a of of a of the derivative of a function. Now we will try to derive the or try try to have our uh, Laplace transform of our function. To uh, we'll try to get the derivative of the Laplace transform of our function okay so the laplace transform of a function so we have the general form here the laplace transform of a function f of t so if if if, a, if we get the transform of this one this will be, uh, uh, instead of being in terms of t it will now be in terms of s so that is the purpose of transform really so making the a certain function uh, uh, in terms of a certain um, certain variable uh, into another variable so for this example in terms of t then after the transform it becomes uh, in terms of s okay so if we are going to have the Laplace trans the derivative of f of s so the derivative of the transform so according to the one of the children of the Laplace transform this will be equal to negative t f of t okay. so that is the we just have that one on the um, another type of writing here yeah okay so this shows that the derivative of a Laplace transform is equal to the Laplace transform of a function of t times negative t okay so there is a certain derivation for this one but we will make we'll just make this video short so this is how we are going to get the derivative of a transform so this can be used in the other way around for example you are trying to get a Laplace transform of a function multiplied by t. So you just have this one, or you, you just get the uh, the Laplace transform of f of t. You must get the first order derivative because if you have f of n, so that is the the general one, okay. So this is equal to the Laplace transform. Laplace transform of negative t to the n f of t okay so this is the general formula for the derivative of a transform so we will try to add on our table of, the, of laplace transform by using this formula in getting the laplace transform of functions multiplied by t to the n and that will be on the next video so i hope you learned something uh, on this video and as always enjoy learning